Seeing that we're all here, we'll call the meeting to order. I hope everybody had a good, uh, good few weeks off from here. Okay. First on the agenda is going to be open time for the public. I'm not seeing any. I'm go forward. Okay. Proof the minutes for April 15th. Okay. Yeah, I read them and I saw where you made the correction, Robin, so thank you. You're welcome. Um, I, I do have a question, though, um, more procedural than anything. Um, we did that rescoring, but was there any paperwork to follow, like to a PCF to notify the select board or the finance committee? Not that there was money involved at this point. Uh, but in making any kind of a change, did we initiate any any paperwork? Did we put the administrative highway position? What position? Yeah, and 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 also the you know the um, assistant treasurer collector and the admin assistant, and the, you know I know the town clerk. We the the, the grade didn't change, but we did rescore. But the others, the grade changed. On the other two, not not the highway. He had paperwork. Mm -hmm. We, I sent, I sent all the scorings to everybody that was scored. The department heads have not received any PCFs. Um, Randall, I believe, is interviewing people right now. No, his, um, his, his, Randall's is fine. It's the it's the other two that we rescored, and there's no. She no hasn't made any change. And I don't believe she was going to. I don't know. I think she was waiting to see with the budget. Okay, because the the uh, if I see the, it correctly, I think it was changed in the payroll system. I think. I think Christy went. I think to that line. Jennifer gave her employees a raise with that. No, 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 no. She didn't give them a raise. It was the changing the grade. There's no raise in the payroll it's system. I thought I saw a nine there. Where? In the pay, we got. I got a printout for the for the budget of the uh, the listing of them. You know, town hall employees and their grade and their start date and all of that. And I thought hers was a nine. I can get my hand. That was changed, but she didn't change yeah. any dollar amount, and there hasn't been a PCF submitted. Okay. So I guess the my question is is should they have issued and should they issue a PCF so that there is that paper trail? Yes, that would have to be up to the department head. Okay. Okay. Um, any questions or comments on April fifteenth? Meeting minutes. Um, it's actually April fifteenth. Yeah, and April 15th. So it's April 15th and April 22nd. Another meeting. April 22nd. Mm -hmm. The date there. So two sets of minutes. Okay. I motion to approve the minutes of April 15th and April 22nd. I'm okay to second. I'm just quick and quickly just going through them and Robin, give me a second. Sure. All those in favor? Richard, aye. Cole, cool, aye. Fishman, oh. aye. Flattery, aye. So, 
Okay, Mr. Katz. Next is PCF. We have we go through Ian Illingsworth, one and a half percent in contract trail increase. That one's a formality, but I did want to note on the comments, the annual salary, it was off um, a digit. So if I just change it so it matches the proposed status, $109,741.80. And the biweekly is $4,220.84. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, all those uh, in favor? Uh, I'll make a motion to approve. Oh, sorry. Um, Ian Ellensworth's contractual PTF. I will second. All those in favor? Richard, I. Slattery, I. Cool, I. Fishman, I. Would you? I was looking for paper. Uh, Robin, just go through again what you did. You rounded up so that. No, there's a digit missing in the comments. It's okay. correct. It's correct on the bottom area. Okay. The bottom area. So okay. 109, 74, 180. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Next one is up Dylan Vulture Melendy, the fire department. New hire, okay. Mm -hmm. Part time as needed, no benefits. Fifteen sixty one an hour. Mm -hmm. yep. Any questions or comments? No, he said it won't add to the budget, won't change the budget, so yeah. I'm fine. So I'll make a motion to approve Dylan's PCF as a new hire, part time, ben uh, non benefited as needed. Okay. I'll move to approve Dylan Fulcher Melendy as a part time, unbenefited EMT at fifteen sixty one an hour. Second it. Okay, all those in favor? Richard I. Slattery I. Cole I. And Tishman I. Okay. The two library PCFs. They did not have signatures on the packet I sent you, but Ed forwarded the signatures to us this afternoon. So hopefully everyone got it. Yeah, I yeah. got that. Yeah. Okay. Robert Rosensky. This is it's a resignation. Oh, it's resign. Okay, there it is. Yeah. The substitute. Is that is that date right? Was it in 20 or 21? Oh, what does she have here? She's got March 23rd of 20. Well, she, it, it did say when he didn't return after COVID, so it probably is right. Okay. Oh. Well, did somebody make a motion? No. Okay. No. All right, I move to accept Robert, and I can't read this last name, Rosen something. Rosinski. Rosinski, okay. His resignation dated March 23rd, 2020, as a library substitute. I'll second that motion. All those in favor? Richard, I. Boy. Fishman, I. Okay. The last doors heard is a library substitute 
Thirteen fifty an hour, no benefits. I motion to approve. I second. All those in favor? Richard I. Richard I. Flattery I. Okay, those passed. Next on the list is wage review. Any comments on that? Um, I had mentioned before that two of the salaries in here are not correct on this schedule. And let me just... What are we talking about? The Jacob study now? Is that what we're up to? We're on the wage review. Um, okay, I, on I was... Okay, we just look at the sure. okay. okay. Did you want to mention that the select board adopted this? Yes, the select board passed it at their not this past meeting, the meeting on the I believe it was the eleventh. I think it might have been the twelfth. So they adopted it and now we're gonna work on it. Uh, what are we doing? Well, I mean we're using it as a roadmap. It doesn't mean everybody is going to move in those three steps. I mean, it's something to suggest that we have a plan of helping, you know, moving people along a continuum. And that those three ranges, the you know, the minimum, the benchmark, and the maximum, we're not limited to those three. There'll be steps in between, but it certainly is... Um, you know, with a goal in mind to see how we can increase salaries of people and make them competitive with the data that we had that was contained in that report. That was that, that was the whole thinking behind adopting it. There still needs to be a wage scale. And how do we these all. positions now? Pardon? How do we score positions now? Well, that has to be, um, I'm sorry about the barking dog. Um, it's okay. I can't talk it or I'll definitely mute it. Um, <clears throat> the grade levels were all, you know, the positions were all categorized in the report of grade levels. There are six grade levels. And there was also, towards the end of the report, say, page, well, here, I'm just looking. Page 17. On page 17, right. The corresponding grade levels with 14 steps. So this, give me, this presentation then, this Arthur Lawrence, February 2020, was, yes. formally, was formally adopted by the board? The select board at its, not this past meeting, the meeting before. Without so, us Because we have, been, we have been talking for some time right. about how do we bring people, people's wages up um, you know, there are some who are significantly underpaid based on based on that report. And so not just them, but everyone. And how do we it's the beginning of a plan of how do we um, increase people's income over time? It, and it doesn't mean that it can't be revised. It just means that right now this is the roadmap that we want to use that's going to get people at least to the minimum so that no one is below that minimum 
and then moving forward. And, you know, our minimum has changed because we increased, no one is getting less than $13.50 an hour. We can look along that continuum and then we need to look at what is in this report and there are 14 and six grades and how do we build that in and how does that correspond to what we're currently using we have available so it's gonna it's gonna take some work and like i said this is just the plan you can still use the salaries the wage scale you want to use now to do grades until until um we and I don't mean we, the select board, I mean all of us, the finance, the PBB, and the select board agree on, 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 on a scale that, that kind of fits that study or brings us along. I don't think anybody would argue with the, the salary that are proposed in there, the wages. They, I would hope that people would be pleased that we're really looking at, at helping people move along. And for lack of anything else, we, we don't have, um, this, this is the, the study that was done, the study that we paid for, the data that was um, verified, it was based on small towns comparable to Southampton. And this is what, um, I don't believe Art proposed it all by himself. I believe that he represented the PBB when he made this presentation. And well, it definitely has to be updated because it's still out of date. Well, this, the current salaries are correct because this was based on 2020. And unfortunately, we did not give raises in 2021. So everyone's current salary that's in that report is correct with the exception of two people. And that is, and I have so many copies of this around, I'll have to find it, but that is the town clerk and the treasurer collector. Okay. Okay. Their salaries were different. Um, I'll tell you what they are. I, have it based on information I got from the payroll office. Their current salary, the treasurer collector, is not making thirty-two forty-one. She's making thirty-one thirty-seven, and the town clerk is making twenty-four seventy-three, not twenty-five fifty-six. What is that based on? How many hours? Well, that's their hourly rate. They don't, their salary, they don't have- well, they, Oh, we broke them up. Okay, so the, the town, um, I have to get the other, I, the, I believe they both work 31 hours a week. I have to find the other, the other schedule that does say it, but let me see, it's right here. Okay, Jennifer Day works 31 hours a week. And the town clerk, Lucy, also works 31 hours a week. And everyone else whose salary was broken down into an hourly rate which corresponds to in in this study that we have in front of us, which which agrees exactly with what we got from payroll. So both of those are grade five. Yes. Right. Mm hmm. Um, water technician. I really don't think he belongs in a um, administrative assistant position here. Yeah. No. Well, that's not a decision we made. That's where no, the- No, I'm saying if we're, we're gonna discuss it, let's point out what needs to be updated. Well, we need to be looking at um, job descriptions. <laughs> 
And I'm sure that was how people got, um, you know, placed into the different grades that are here was based on what the job description said. Well, in order for this to even move forward, then we're going to need updated job descriptions from all departments. They're going to have to write something up. Well, um, why is that? I'm sorry? What? I'm trying to understand why. Because we're talking about, you know, we definitely know the water technician should not be in an administrative position. Um, they don't work in an administrative position. They actually work out in the field. Um, so you would see that more in which grade level? What is it, Charlie and Milch? Is that correct? 2810? And look at the others, 16, yep. 18. I hear you. It don't make sense. No, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't fit in there, but again, it was based on maybe what was the required um what are, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, not with you. On grade level four, the water technician yeah. really sticks out because the salary, the hourly wage there is much higher and it's at a grade four. I wouldn't agree on the level three people either or positions. Assistant no. to the highway superintendent and the assistant town accountant should probably be a four. So we have job descriptions um, for everyone. Mm -hmm. And I think we should go back. I mean, I, I actually called Art and I had a conversation with him about this whole thing to try to understand how we got here from from there. And I was pretty satisfied with what he explained to me, and maybe it would be a good thing if, if we invited him um, and maybe a, a couple of other people who were part of this whole thing because it took them a very long time um, to come in and talk to us about it. Because we're, we're here, you know, and, and again, it's like we're, we're kind of, you know, after the fact, we're asking questions that none of us can answer because we weren't there. Um, yes, we, we adopted it. <laughs> no, we adopted it based on based on the data that was presented. We adopted it. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. But we have to rely, we can't do all of the work. We have to rely on others. We had a very, it was a very competent group of people. We paid it a consultant who does this for a living and this is what they produced. I can't say anything more and, and, and that's, that's it. The, there really is no issue other than the lack of communication between the boards and why, didn't, why weren't we aware this was happening? Well, because we were working on the budget, making adjustments to people's salaries who were underpaid. And in order to do that, we had to some, have some official yardstick. And this was the basis of the thinking. And that's why we adopted it. It's, it's supporting documentation for our decision-making process that was based on objective data that was provided to us. But that does not take away the need for a salary scale and to be looking at uh, steps and, and, you know, corresponding rates, um, all of that. We, we could be, um, you know, being involved in. I think it, it, it's, I, I'm saying it's worth a look. I'm not saying we have to because the other salary schedules, other than uh, the one, the scales that we've been using, other than the non, you know, the non-exempt, where the the minimum salary is thirteen fifty. That's an adjustment that needs to be made across the board on those. But other than that, 
and see how that plays out. But that has to be upgraded as well. Our whole scoring system needs to be upgraded mm -hmm. to right with this. How, how do you take the scores that we already have and match them with this? Well, I believe that they use the, um, the same evaluation system that we're using, more or less. That's what I said. You know, we, 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 we would like to invite Art to come in and, and talk to us about it. I don't think we can have, we don't have the funds to bring Jacobs in to talk to us about it. But Art and a couple of the other people who were involved might, might give us some insight. I have no issue with that. <clears throat> I guess the the question I would have is the job descriptions. I mean, page seven basically says one major result of this study involved the development of updated and, unif yeah, and uniformly formatted job descriptions for all positions. So why are we talking about job descriptions having to be changed? And it and, and this the introduction also says that the PQB has completed a thorough job analysis, audit of positions, updated job descriptions, classifications, and now compensation to ensure equity for all non-union town employees. So it appears that this committee was actively involved in in <laughs> the result. But I don't know that were either of either of you on this committee when this was done? No. Yeah, see, so we're this is uh, Francine, when this was presented to the select board, and I don't know if you were on the select board at the time. When it, was, it, was, it, was, it wasn't acted on? No, it was presented on February 4th of 2020. Okay. And it was given as a report. And we don't adopt things right then and there. Yep. Ordinarily, it would you know, be postponed. And then COVID came. And I think everything just got reshuffled. And, and, and it's not an excuse, but that's what happened. I mean, the, the only thing I can say is that you know, the current salary information is correct because we didn't give an increase in this year. Um, and this report, uh, uh, you know, based on our review of it, is is a valid instrument for us to be using as a planning tool to move people forward. Okay, so it wasn't that the board was unhappy with the contents, it just got tabled no. right. because of it other did. circumstances. It did. It yeah. did, just like the you know the disability um, insurance thing got pushed down the road. When did this That's study it. actually happen? Two thousand seventeen. Mm -hmm. Twenty seventeen, and then was updated again in, yeah. in twenty twenty. Yeah. Because that's when they that's when they threw in the additional four percent. <laughs> Yeah, this, yes, the wages certainly were, absolutely. Right. Oh. My only concern is, is when we were going through, especially Treasure Collector, she was listing off responsibilities that weren't even on her job description. And that's what she was complaining, that they weren't getting paid what they should have been paid. Well, they're still not on the job description because the job description was not revised. Exactly. So I mean, that's our fault, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna apologize because Ken raised it, and he was absolutely correct. Why are we rescoring the same thing? It's like we're second guessing someone else, and what? And we really should have been looking at well, that that's at a, re, at a revision to to make that decision. Right, and that's why I think that new job descriptions need to be. Redone. If it's been since however long it's been, 
and there's new job titles and responsibilities and we want to do this correct, then okay. they need to take the responsibility and put what their actual job duties are in their descriptions. I don't disagree with you. But the um, I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I was just going to say that most of the work, I think the information came from the department heads. Right. Like most of the work in writing the job descriptions was mm -hmm. from the committee. Yeah, that's what the report says. And I, I guess my concern is that the timelines, this, if you take it for, for what it says, it appears to me that job descriptions were uh, contemporary as of 2020. So we're, you know, you're talking about two years of changing job descriptions. A year. That, a little more than a year, yeah. Yeah, right. So either the job either job descriptions have they have changed significantly in less than two years or this or this compilation was less than accurate, even though it says that it went out and people visited with uh, department heads. And that's, and that's my concern because if we've got people complaining that they're not getting paid right and the stuff that they do is not on the job descriptions, then how can they say this is up to date? That's that's why I'm confused. Well, they got the information about the job from the department head. Right. So right. either either it has changed in that time period or it wasn't reported when they developed the job description to begin with. That right. and and so redoing it if the responsibilities are more than what it says is perfectly legitimate. Do we have a copy of these new job descriptions that were written by Art? I sent them to you, Christy. Um, you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ed, um, Art had sent them to me. Okay. I'll have to, they might have gone in my spam. I'll have to check. I have to look at the dates on them. I don't know how recent, but. So we have a job description for every position that's listed on page five. It should be. Should be. I'll have to send you the file. It's a large file. Yeah, there's 30 positions on there. So I guess the other question I would have is, is making sure that I understand what the select board accepted. They accepted this report and the and its contents. Yes. Okay, so that, that basically yeah. means that they signed off on any and all um, range figures. Yes, with, with the correction of the two salaries of the, the treasurer collector and, and and the town clerk. Yes. Okay. So all of this stuff has been formally accepted um, by a select board. Right. So this is, this is another Bible, so to speak. Right. It, it's 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 a road, I call it a roadmap because it tells us where we want to go. Yep. How many you know how many steps between each of these, and so on and so forth. I mean, we have to get some people. I mean, we were. Our big concern is we had some people that weren't even making the minimum, and that's where we started. Okay, so with our discussion, so we wanted to get to at least that, and then we'll look at look at all of them as we're trying to respond to what we feel, you know, and what is demonstrated through this, where there are some significant inequities, and work through that. Okay, so our, res our responsibility yeah. at this point, from my standpoint anyways, is to critique everything that's in this, all of the numbers and all of the mm -hmm. descriptives as far as who does what and how. Mm -hmm. okay. And I think it was also an attempt to assure employees that there was a plan in mind for them 
I mean, it's always dictated by what funds we have available to do this. Um, but given given that, this is where we would like to go. Okay. It's, no, it's not a guarantee, but it is a roadmap. Well, I would, I would, speaking as a member of the finance committee, a member, not for the committee. I would object to the fact that we didn't see this before it got formally approved. Okay. I, I do well. I hear that from the commi this committee too. Okay, I I hear you. I do. And and my only concern is is how do we go forward with using this wage scale? Because you could be hiring somebody that's got pretty good experience and the knowledge and and. I don't know how we go about using. No, they they wouldn't all start on step one. I well, mean, no. we, we would how do we go if, about if we look at this scale? How do you go about scoring them? Scoring the values and how does that fall on mm -hmm. their scale? How does that? Okay. okay. And, and since this, yeah, I I hear what you're saying, and that's why I'm I'm suggesting that we ask Art and a couple of other people who I'm sure would be very willing to come in and, and talk to us and walk us through this whole process um, can answer those questions. I can't. Um, yeah, I guess I would, I'd go along with that. If you I'd find that too. Get the authors. We have to have a starting point because right now we don't have one. Right. And it's, I mean, it is an issue that, you know, is first and foremost, I think, in everybody's thought process. Because we. You, I, it, um, I had sent this out to everyone a while ago. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, members of this committee had it. Right. We but, have, but we never had a discussion. No, we didn't. It no. was submitted um, in 2020, but we didn't take a look at it to see, oh, let's, before we submit it, let's take a look at it. Let's review it first. Let's well, see I, what we can do with it. Mm -hmm. How's this going to work? Yeah. I, I don't disagree with you, but I'm saying we adopted it for the purpose that I explained was to use it as a guide to get from here to there in terms okay. of increases. We have nothing else. And there's certainly, there's certainly competitive wages, which is what we want to do. That's where we want to go. Yep. Okay. It can be revised if you, you know? Yep. It, this is not in stone. It's just something that we adopted to use for this purpose. Okay. I'm going to mute myself. <laughs> Except I can't. Well, it's it, it's it's good that you're he hearing him or her, Francine. <laughs> I, I I know the dog is healthy. <laughs> I think it's bothering you more than us. <laughs> It's not a problem. Well, so are we going to make a formal motion to invite Art and whoever else to come to the next meeting or a meeting? Unfortunately, Ken, you weren't here. I'm going to be out for probably about 10 weeks for medical issues. Oh, wow. Um, to hear that. I'm hoping sooner we we'll back. It all depends on how my surgery goes. Mm -hmm. So, um, best of luck. Good fortune. No, thank you. At least we're getting it fixed now. So, who is the? Is there a vice chair? Uh, Rob, Rob. No, we don't have a vice. Chair. I'm the clerk. <laughs> we don't have a vice chair. <laughs> We don't have a life chance. 
Right, so it's the three of us then, huh? When is the election? June 22. 22nd. It's late, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Um, well, well, that being the case, I would I would move that to get them here. I mean, if the implication is you want to wait until you come back, then... I I would prefer not to because we need to get this going. We need to have a stepping stone, especially if we're going to have any new hires, and we need to know how about going about okay storing these employees. Okay. Um, well, but can I just add that the good news is is that these things are recorded and archived and at some point maybe you'll be able to catch up and look, you know if you miss it yeah i'm hoping like i said i'm hoping to to be back sooner um i'll keep you to chris with um the minutes yeah in the loop yeah um i'd like to make a motion to invite um the prior members um i know it was art i don't know who else was involved that was you do Jim, Jim or, any prior or, member that could discuss this with us it's fine by me okay and i will second that all those in favor richard i cole i fishman i battery i so we'll invite them to our next um monthly meeting does that work? I, I know you're not going to be around. Does that work for everyone? Um, yes, the date. It's going to be the. So our next meeting scheduled for the 24th, I think, the 24th, June 24th. Okay. Well, I might not be here. You might not? <laughs> I might not. Oh, as a liaison? <laughs> e either. I've seen your signs out there. Yes, we'll see so, I'm just saying. Yeah, I have a new board. We'll reorganize at the next meeting. Um, if there is any PCS beforehand, I know Rindell is he's working on hiring someone. John Workman had some PCS he wanted to get in. Um, I think that's it. But if we need to meet. Um, I will let you know. Yeah, if we need to meet next week, no, like we said, a quorum. I'll know by Monday or Tuesday. I'm um, actually on on Monday. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be pushed back a week, but. Okay, I probably won't hear from either of them until Monday, so I won't know yeah. if they have paperwork or not. Does it make any sense? <laughs> and um, forgive me, Christy. Does it make any sense to? To have a special meeting and maybe try to do this before or or, or wait for which to have these people come in if they can if they can do that um i guess if you're available next week we could well if i'm available next yeah we can know right it's before your procedure as opposed to after if we can and we'll know, like we said, we'll know by Monday. No. You're just waiting on a confirmation on the date? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We'll touch base on Monday. And if we can schedule a meeting for, is everyone available on Thursday? I'm not. not You're Thursday. not? Wednesday? I'll have to check on Wednesday, but I All know right. I'm not on Thursday. I think I can do either day. Okay. I'll see. I'll see what I if I can move Thursday around. I'll try to do it if I can't. All right. Let's let's I'll, touch base on Monday. Um, I'll know better. I'll know better Monday evening. Yeah, I think we all will on Monday. We'll touch base. Right. You just have to post a meeting forty eight hours. So yeah, have to do it on Monday or Tuesday. Okay. All right, um, rules and regulations. Are we going to move on um, from this at the moment? Yep. Why don't we um, discuss what we have so far? And then we can go from there. Just give 
give me one second and I will be right back. You guys can go ahead. There is so much paper. I guess I could do things electronically, but then I can't work, you know. And you can't find them. That becomes the other thing. Anybody want to start? Mm -hmm. So one of the things that should be reviewed um vacation time and sick time do we want to take another look at that because right now employees aren't getting a vacation for a year after they start but they're accruing it they just can't take it is that correct right so a new hire won't be able to take a vacation for over a year and then it's prorated the first fiscal year after they're hired are the personal days um, two personal days? Is that still given right up front? Mm -hmm. Sick days are also prorated for new buyers. And what do you recommend that we put in in its place? I think it'd be nice to have one week off the right off the bat and then follow it the same way it is now. After two years, um, you earn another week. So you have two weeks. After five, it goes up, I believe. Um, five years is three weeks. Four for, years. for that first week, or is it should it be contingent of their after the probationary period? Yeah. I mean, it's just a discussion. That's just. Yeah. For the, you know, we have some new employees and they're not going to have a vacation this year. Right. You know, I'm sure they, you know, it looks to me, well, if they're accruing it, I guess it's okay. Because I'm thinking, what would the Department of Labor say? But there are people who are on that committee that work for the Department of Labor, so I'm sure they they saw that. But um, yeah, it's tough to go a year. Right. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with the rate of accrual. One year you get one week, two years you get two weeks, and then after five you get three. After 12, four, after 25. Yes. I just feel like um, yeah. the first fisc full fiscal year could be um, prorated. Yeah. And then I know a lot of business first, they, they get a full week. Yes. Does Westfield do that? No. Um, the, there's so many different contracts. They get one week, two weeks. Yeah, see, for us, we do it, they get one week, but it's accrued on a weekly basis. Yeah. Um, for the first year. There's no probation. It's whatever it reads in the contracts. Yeah. So could, three off the bat. Could we say that people could take whatever they vacation they accrued in that time period, you know, for a fiscal year that would end in June 30th? whatever year 
So if they get hired in September, they would have accrued from September to June. Or if they got hired in January, they would have accrued from January to June, which would leave them with like two and a half days or something. Mm -hmm. um, and that would be that what they were entitled to take, not a week. Is, is Correct. That's, that's how what it you're is saying? Now. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on. Our neighbors, I think, are having about a it. nothing. Nothing set in stone. We can think about it. Same with the sick. We get five sick days. Um, we give five sick days. Everywhere else, it's pretty much one day. One day a month you earn. So it'd be twelve sick days. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, how do these um, issues compare with what um, union employees get? I don't know the um, union, our union contracts. Are you familiar with, Chris? The highway union or the police union? I think the union contract, as far as the vacation leave, is comparable to what we have. Okay. Um, I'm not sure the sick days, and I think they are entitled to four personal days as to opposed to two. Mm -hmm. And I think I actually think the highway follows ours, our rules and regulations. Now that I think about it, but I do know they have more personal days. Um, I'm out, you know, I as far as. The 12, I'm all for that being that, unfortunately, if you don't use it, you lose it, so you don't roll it over. Right, right. Um, so there's no abuse when it comes to that. And we do have that disability policy still in place. Have it. Um, but that's, again... I think that um, employees would even be happy with, um, to compromise 10 days, 10 sick days, use it or lose it. Yeah. Can I just, I'm just looking at this uh, on page 31. Yeah. F, for an employee with less than one full year of continuous service, the following formula can be used to determine the granted vacation for the fiscal, for the fiscal year as follows, 90 days, has to be completed. Mm -hmm. So they are calculating it. You're saying this is just to calculate the accrual. This does not allow them to use it. I'm trying to figure out where that says that. The employee... An employee in continuous service shall be granted one service equivalent after completion okay. of one year. Okay. So they but less than two. Okay. Yeah. So with the, the okay, so that's where it is. Okay. I thought I found that they could, but they can't. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't have an issue with the ninety day probationary um, probationary period either. I can still keep that. I would I would love to somehow move um, get that ninety day probationary period up more at, at the beginning of it than at the end. Do you know what I'm saying? What do you mean note it in the um in the actual description instead of putting it all the way down at the F um, note, yeah. Yeah, that can go in the um top paragraph. I, I to me that would be a better place for it. No, that makes sense. Do you all agree with the 90 day probationary period? Oh, yeah. Yep. I think that's fair. Yeah. That's standard. Mm -hmm.
What else did you want to look at? Does anyone have any suggestions or? Um, where is it? Can someone just refresh my memory or give me some insight? Um, everywhere where it was the finance committee, it was changed to town accountant. What was, I'm trying to think of what was the thinking behind that. I don't know if it was everywhere or just... Well, in the, in the couple of sections, I'm I see at. where it says, but I, I wonder if that is what it meant. <laughs> okay. I wonder if it was just a certain section and we just missed, I just missed adding it. I have to, um, I started to make the um, changes, so I have them all crossed out in red, so I'll take a look and see what if I can figure it out. Because I don't think we would have changed it in every yeah. um, situation. Yeah. That don't make sense. Yeah. For the bereavement leave. Yes. I know what it's what that, that, Chris? That's page 36. Okay. I know it's a sad situation, but I know for where we work, if they're going to take three days or even opposed to days, they have to bring in something, you know, whether it be a clipping or something to prove that they're actually going, they're a family member they're bereaving for. You know, you don't understand what I'm saying? You, you want them to send in proof? Yes. It, and that's, so it's not, it's somebody can use it as an excuse saying, okay, somebody passed away, I'm taking three days off. Mm hmm you know, because it can be over, you know, um, you know what I'm trying to say, right? I understand. We, we require, we require documentation. Yeah, I know it's insensitive, but yeah. we do. Yeah, we do too. And I just think we should have it for the town because it can be abused and it should have documentation um, for whoever is going to get paid for it. Okay. Bereavement page. Thanks. If you all agree, I mean, we're not it just. Let's get our ideas out there. We'll put it down, and then we'll at some point go through this one by one and yeah. vote on it, and then we'll put it out there to be voted on, hearing, and all that good stuff. Okay, so documentation for bereavement. I think just because we're we're a small town, we all know each other. We know each other's families. Mm -hmm. It's never we've never required documentation. I know the bigger towns, of other places I work, do cities. So it really depends on how we feel about it. Yeah, I can go either way. I I know what you mean because we require it too. Did we put something? Um, no, we don't have it in here. Um, should we include something for PFMLA? Um, we don't have anything for the. That should probably be a handout, but we could include it in here. M L A. Yeah, because in order for if any member is going to apply for it, they have to do it on their own. Um, but I think it should be somewhere written on it if they're going to apply for either PFMLA. It should be somewhere with the um, FMLA. I think. Mm -hmm. I'm just making sure there's no wording in here. Are you ready? Is 
Is that parental? Is that like the uh, Small Necessities Leave Act? No, PFMLA is Paid Family Medical Leave Act. <laughs> It's a oh, we're not participating in that. The town's not participating in the uh, paper? No. No. We didn't vote to participate. So that's when you have a portion of your check taken. We we did not adopt that. So nope, we won't be doing that. Okay. <laughs> Kind of along the same lines. Are we finished with that that one before I jump? Yep. Okay. Um, along the same lines as what we talked about for um, and it, what we were talking about. Yeah. It, it, yeah. In terms of the the, I'm looking what I hear before I confuse everybody. I'm looking at the extended accident and sickness plan. Okay. What page is that? That's page 35. Okay. okay. And if you compare that with what the sick leave, which is on page 33, it says that for three consecutive days of absence, a person has to produce, you know, uh, documentation from their physician of their illness. Now, in the next, which is an extended illness, page 35, um, it basically, I think, suggests that the doctor fill out the initial form, but there's nothing in here that suggests that a person would have to periodically produce documentation throughout this 26-week period with some projections of when they might return to work or, or whatever you want to put in there. But, I mean, if we're requiring documentation for bereavement, I would think that 26 weeks of time, besides the initial claim, we should have some some ongoing documentation to support their their absence from work. So there is a form um, that goes along with that. Um, I don't know if I have a copy of it. I know I can get one from Jennifer or Ed. We can add that in here, and I believe that details everything that you just said. Right, They're, they have to have a roundabout date. And once you get to that date, and if you have to stay out, you have to prove more documentation of why you're- Okay. Must be late longer. Okay. So we can include that in the packet. Okay. There was okay. something to describe that, that process, because this looked like it was the initial one, and then that was it. Okay. Okay, page.
for the um, sexual harassment uh, policy. Um, I think we need to have in there, um, and this needs to start happening, um, that employee. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Page 61. Okay. That uh, employees have to sign off on the sexual harassment policy on a yearly basis at the beginning of every fiscal year. We we did mention that in one of our meetings that did, yeah yeah. Um, Maya does trainings. Um, yeah. yeah, I do think we definitely have to have a right. meeting for them, being it's been a long time. Yeah, I don't believe it's done annually. I, I think I may have participated in one. And that must have been when I was there. <laughs> yes. That was a while ago. Yeah, that has to, it, that's supposed to be done on a yearly basis. Yes, by law yearly. Anybody have anything else? No. Not for now. Not at the moment. Yeah. You know, I haven't heard anything on that grant that we got that we're supposed to be part of a feasibility for shared HR mm -hmm. services. And I'm thinking stuff like this falls, you know, there should be. They could they could do up you know hopefully if and when we get that they could do updates like this that conform with changes in in the in the laws and the rules. Right. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Does anybody have any new business? No. No, you don't. So seeing none, um, right now we'll hope to plan for next week. I'm thinking my, um, I'm, I'm almost certain that they're gonna, my surgery is gonna be a week from next week. From, I think it's gonna be Wednesday. Okay. Um, you know how insurance companies are. So, um, if we can meet next week, we can. Hopefully, we can get Art and whoever else to come in mm -hmm. if they're able to get that started. Francine, um, did you want to contact him or do you want me to? How do you want to handle um, that? Either, I, it makes no difference. Um, you sir, you you were on while he, Art was chair, right? Yes. Okay. I mean, it's it's up to you. I can I can do it, or you can do it. No, I don't mind at all. Okay. And I and I do believe it was Jim Palermo yeah. and and Josie Alderman. I think Jim and Josie. Yeah. I don't have contact information for them. You have yeah, I I do. I right. do. You just want to invite them? Yeah, let's see if he agrees to it. And if he does, let me know. And then I can reach out and hopefully they can make it. I okay. There's no guarantee, but. I think Art will have a good grasp on how to explain it to us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, no more comments or suggestions. Uh, I'll move to 
Here in our meeting. Okay. Don't move. And I'll second that. Okay. All in favor? Richard, aye. Oh, aye. Battery, aye. And Tishman, aye. Okay, thank you. I'll be in touch with everyone early next week to see if we okay. have another meeting okay. planned or not. And okay. response okay. from Art. Okay. All right, uh, thank you. All right. Christy. Thank you, guys. Have a good evening. I hope everything goes well for you, Christy. Oh, it will. Yes, amen. Good. 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 Thank you. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.